I just received a package from Amazon and this is what I ordered, a brand new acetone dispenser. Let's open it together and take a look. This is the brand, Menda, and it comes with their label on top, Menda Purity Protector Non-Clogging Pump. Here it says, caution, do not wipe brush on lid, do not overfill dish, and do not let liquid enter hinge. So this is what it looks like. Wow, it's really soft. It's very loud though, as you can hear. But it's so soft. Okay, let's take the lid off. This is what it looks like inside. This is the stem. It definitely looks very high quality. It doesn't look cheap at all. You can hear the little metal ball inside. And in the plastic bottle, there's some labels. Let me take these out. I'm gonna use it for acetone. The plastic just feels like regular plastic, nothing special. I do like that it has their logo here, or the name of the brand. And that's pretty much it. Let's fill it up and test it out. The acetone I use is the Onyx Professional Remover 100% Pure Acetone. All right, so let's put the lid on it. The top portion of the lid just spins around, so you have to be sure that you're grabbing from the bottom section to make sure that the bottle is really sealed. Wow, look at that. Some liquid already came out. And you can pump depending on the amount that you want. Let's see. Wow, that is awesome. They have another one that doesn't have this little valve in the center and it allows the liquid to go back in. But this one is the pure touch, which means that the liquid that you have on here is not going to go back into the bottle and contaminate whatever you have inside. So I really like that feature and I'm really excited to start using this regularly and let you guys know how well it works for me. It's supposed to be very high quality and from what I've seen on the reviews, they're really good. Let's test if it's spill proof. It is not spill proof as you can see. Drops of acetone fell out of the bottle. So you have to be careful and make sure that you always have it standing up. The dispenser is very sensitive to touch so if you're putting down the lid you could accidentally press it down and dispense some of the liquid into this area. So you have to be careful. One good thing that I found is that I just hold this part up gently not pulling it up but just gently hold it up and then I can dry whatever leftover acetone is left in this section and when I'm gonna put the lid down I can also hold it and press it down whenever I'm done working with it one more thing I wanted to mention about this one is that it doesn't lock or seal so that's another thing I want to keep an eye out to see how much of the acetone could escape or evaporate while I'm not using it so I'll keep an eye on that and if there's any updates I'll either do another video or leave an update comment in this video pinned to the top so you guys can see it these are just minor things that i'm including in this but none of them bother me because it is such a convenient thing to have compared to the ones that i've been using which are not bad if you're going to use it applying the cotton ball or whatever cotton pad you have here it's fine but what i like is the fact that if for example in this one if i try to press this down no matter how gently i try to press it down this sometimes splashes the acetone all over and I have to be really careful with my lamp, my camera, or my phone. So this one is guaranteed not to do any type of splashing ever. So this is why I prefer it. It is more expensive than these cheap ones that I have, but it's worth it because it's something that I use regularly and I'm just going to take advantage of all the features that it has. I would also like to point out that all these cheaper dispensers have served me well and they do serve their purpose as far as dispensing the acetone. But for example, one of the best ones is this one that I had been using for a while and this one wouldn't splash up as much. I was able to lightly press it down but I would have to use both hands or two fingers like that and hold the bottle in place so it wasn't the, the ideal but it stopped working. The valve inside, I guess it stopped working, the little metal ball. 
so it wouldn't seal and it wouldn't suck up any more acetone so i had to stop using it because of that this one from dollar tree still works but again this little area here it wouldn't hold the liquid and when i would press it down it would splash all over which is one of the worst things that you want in your area to be splashing acetone all over if you're only going to use these by applying a cotton ball or something like that if you press it down then they all work fine and that's not an issue but because of the fact that i'm constantly doing cleanup whenever i'm doing my manicures that is something that i was looking for one that would hold the liquid in here in this area without splashing all over the place and I, it would allow me to dip my brush in there clean around the the nail and then continue to dip it in the same liquid until i'm done with the cleanup and that is the reason why i'm not putting any of these down i'm just saying that this is what i needed for my personal use one more thing i noticed and it may not be relevant but i just wanted to mention it just so you're aware if you press the plastic if you press it hard enough like if you squeeze the bottle let's say you're moving it and you accidentally squeeze it a little bit too much the liquid does dispense so if you have to squeeze it pretty tightly but let me just show you i'm going to squeeze it gently and you can i can hear air see if you can hear it and then the liquid does come out so that is another thing to keep in mind that liquid does come out if you press the plastic part really hard that's all i have for you guys today it was just a quick unboxing and review of the menda non-clogging pump i'll have a link in the description box below let me know if you have any questions or comments thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day bye